Hello, yes, Nick Griffin's Liebensborn programme. Well, not exactly, I'm just having a laugh here. Nick Griffin calls for white people to have more babies, which I wholeheartedly agree with. Uh, they should have more children. However, it's not going to happen, Nick. You see, you need to get out a little bit more. Go to some of these concerts, nightclubs, or watch a bit of reality TV. Follow some of these young people around and see what they get up to, and you can see why they don't want to have children, they don't want to have babies. You can understand why, because they're having the time of their lives and people are naturally selfish, right? They're naturally selfish, like I've said many times before. And the pleasure principle is very, very strong, isn't it? You're having the time of your life. Why would you forfeit that to sit in the house, change your nappies? Well, you're not going to, right? By all means, have more babies, of course. But let me ask you this, Nick, since you've been pushing this stuff, how many have signed up for it? Well, exactly. Is it going to really tip the scales regarding the third world invasion and third world baby boom that follows? Well, of course not, right? It's not an ace up our sleeve. It's utter nonsense. We have to play with the pack of cards we've got now, and that's that. There's no aces up our sleeve further down the road. Um, and like I've said, you need to get out a little bit more. And also, you're talking about, on face, Facebook, this is, about having um, more babies and uh, shielding the, the children, the kids, from liberal brainwashing. Well, how do you intend to do that without making them little weirdos and freaks, uh, something like the Amish in America? How do you intend to do that? Stop them looking at mobiles, TV. How about the friends that have got mobiles and TV? Are they not to look at them? They'd be laughed at. In fact, it would be a form of child abuse. The child would go through hell as a little weirdo, like I say, uh, like the Amish or something. So how do you protect children now from liberal brainwashing? You can't. We've just got to get in there early with our propaganda before the liberal brainwashers get in there first. That's all you can do. You've just got to put them straight. You see, when I first joined the once mighty national front in 1978, once I was equipped with all the knowledge, all the tools, that was the end of the liberal brainwashing. That was at 17, right? That's 17 years of it. So if you get in there early as a child, we, we can counter uh, all of, uh, the nonsense and the poison. But to believe you can shield them from TV, phones, the French phones, the French TV, uh, Fashion, do you shield them from the, the, the Friends fashion? Do the, the Friends want to go and watch a concert with Rihanna or Beyonce or Lady Gaga or God knows who? What you do, you're not going. It would be horrendous for them. They'd be laughed at, scorned at, picked on. It would be terrible for them. It would be a, a form of child abuse, if you ask me. I don't think you think these things through when you, you, you put them down you know, on Facebook. I, I really don't. Because how do you manage to do that? You can't. Right? Also, you're talking about Tommy, Tommy Robinson on your Facebook, and you like talking about him like he's one of the lads now. He's not this Zionist agent you accuse him of being, which he is an agent, we're not of Zionism or whatever, I don't know. I believe he's, it's straightforward and he works for the security services and all this, he's going to get attacked, beaten up and killed in prison. It's fantasy. You see, the prison authorities have a duty of care where they've got to look after prisoners. They can't just receive a phone call from MI5 or uh, the powers that be or those above and ring the governor up and say, get him on uh, B-Wing with the muzzies, throw him to the dogs. Okay, boss. It doesn't happen that way. It can't happen. How many of you dafties, uh, Stephen Molyneux, one of them, saying he's going to be made and killed. How many of you know any prison officers that work in prison? Well, I know several that have been there 30 years plus, and it's a load of nonsense. He will be segregated. Now, he could be attacked by an opportunist attacker if he's just walking past uh, on the seg unit or he's crossing onto another wing or going on a visit. Yes, someone can have a pop at him, but he would never be thrown onto a wing full of Muslims with the intent of having him beaten up or made. And it's utter nonsense because you see the screws the prison officers they want uh, peace and order on the wing because if they've got to go in and pick the pieces up 
they then could come into conflict with those attacking him. A riot could ensue on the wing and in the prison. So they don't want all that. And there's no this all-powerful state telling the governor what to do, who then tells the SO, tells the PO, who then tells the screws, get him on B-wing, Billy! Hey, get a nade, Tommy! Oh my God, I cannot believe how gullible you fucking lot are. I really can't. And remember, Tommy Robinson was a volunteer to prison. He volunteered to go there, right? He knew going to the court again, he'd be in temp to court and go to jail. That's why he went. And you, Nick Griffin, you're not saying this is all part of his, part of the act is part of his scam, comes into the territory. That's what he's getting paid for, to demonise us, criminalise us, frighten people away and many, many other things that it's achieving. You're not, you're calling him Tommy like he's your mate. Maybe you have to, after hoovering up his support, you in Jackson, another hope not hates by Christ. You must love them, right? I didn't want to make this video, but the stuff you're coming out with, it's just nonsense. And also, you're going on about organising in the community. What exactly is that? Send me a link or a message. I keep it personal, I won't repeat it. Is it militias? You and Jack said? What? what? If you can't win an election in a community that's still predominantly white, you're not organising them to defend themselves. And if they need to defend themselves, the criminals and drug dealers that do it before you lot, they boot you off the estate. It's that stupid. We have a chance now, right, to be organised together and all get our acts together with all this fucking fantasy stuff, Nick. It's dream world, but... You're tapping into a market, probably for financial reasons, because you're a bit of a political prostitute on the sly, aren't you? I hate to say that, because I'm one of your best fans, but you are. You know, stop the fucking nonsense, will you? Also, if the electoral road is closed, then should we have not have voted Brexit? We should have, should have left that, yeah? Well, that's how stupid it all is. But all this, Tommy Robinson's going to be made, and is just baloney. You, Stephen Mullen, you, Paul Joseph Watson, Alex Jones, all the rest of you, and Nick Griffin. You need to get give your head to wobble. Okay, thank you.